Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Today's topic, upgrading your tech leadership career. Is there an app for that? Isn't there something that I can just install on my phone that would make it easier and, and, and solve all of my leadership problems and career problems and, and everything is just, is just, would just get better? Isn't there an app for that? And so it may seem a little bit silly, like, you know, of course, like if we're talking about career transformation here, um, that, that a simple app isn't going to completely and totally fix it. Now, there are apps out there that are wonderful that can be part of the solution, but they are not the only solution. If you just do that, right, if you just get an app, and th thinking that it's going to transform the way that you lead and transform the way that you are upgrading your career, you're sorely mistaken. But here's the thing, we've all fallen into this trap because we live in a world where technology is rapidly advancing and a new tech company is popping up every day. New apps are out there. And look, I do not want to minimize them. Um, a lot of the people who have founded and are growing software companies are good friends of mine, they're colleagues of mine, and I've had them on the podcast, and, and I'm cheering them on, and it's awesome. And, and, and the ones that I really admire the most are the ones that say, look, we have an app, but it's just an app, <laughs> right? This is, we're playing a small part in this, um, you know, so, so the ones who create apps, you know, that are for, you know, running meetings better or giving better feedback or, you know, ones that might be more, more general in terms of giving like leadership frameworks and, and things like that, like how to run a team better. They admit, they know that like, this is just one piece of the puzzle and we, that's what we want to do because that's what we're good at and we want to build the software to, to help people do that better. But you can't just expect the app to be magic and totally transform everything. Right. So this is not a dig at the software community and to say that we don't need the apps and what are they doing trying to create all these apps? No, it's awesome. Please keep creating applications. But remember that those apps have a role to play. They're there to stack on top and to help you optimize your strategies and systems and, and your mindset al already. They're not there to dig you out of a hole. They're not there um, alone to help you transform your career. Alone, they will not do that. But we have kind of fallen into this trap, especially when we're stuck and when we're struggling. We, we, we look for the easy solution. There's got to be an easy solution. And look, I've done this in the past. Um, when I was leading teams of data analytics geeks, this is going on 10, 10 15 years ago now, and I was leaving the team and it wasn't really going very well. There was lots of little, little red flags that were turning into bigger red flags, like just people not really aware of what they were doing, coming to me with the same questions again and again. And I was getting a little bit frustrated. I was like, oh, I already explained this. Um, and just things like people who were, who, who I knew were high performers and were capable of it. They had the potential to do it, but if they weren't, they weren't, and they weren't showing up and they weren't innovating and creating and producing and being as effective as I thought they could be. So it's like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm a plotter, I'm a planner, I love systematizing stuff. So I was like, all right, let me, let me take a look and see what, what apps might be out there. Um, in, in terms of like building teams and giving better feedback. Um, and so I did that. <laughs> I researched a whole bunch of apps, um, tried out a whole bunch of apps, um, including, you know, like some of my own like modifications of, you know, using Evernote plus, you know, some other, you know, some other things, you know, Evernote plus a GTD framework plus this plus that, you know, getting things done. Um, it, in, you know, trying to put an app band-aid on top of the problems that were, were present in my team. And so the interesting thing about doing anything new 
with a group of people, teams included, you know, your, your team included, is that if you do anything new, there does tend to be like this yay new toy phase, especially for tech geeks, you know, for tech geeks and nerds, right? We love trying new stuff out, right? Especially if it's a new app, right? So there was this phase when we were, we were trying out these new apps that it was like, oh, hey, cool, new toy, right? And there was like a little bit of excitement around it. Um, there was like a, a hint of increased engagement, but it didn't last because it was, they were ultimately just band-aids. And ultimately I got more frustrated and they got more frustrated because like, oh, we tried this thing and this didn't work. Like what's gonna work here? You know, why, why are we not killing it as a team? Why are we not scoring more wins? Um, and so what that forced me to do, um, like I said, this is like 10, 15 years ago at this point, was, to take a hard look at, all right, why is it not working? <laughs> why is my team not showing up the way that I know that they're capable of? Um, why is there this increasing frustration um, among everyone? And what I realized was that I didn't have core systems, core strategies, a core mission as a team and as a leader. And so that was causing my team to show up like, hey, what's our purpose here? What, what, why am I here? Why do I come and do this every day? And so lacking that mission and lacking that core purpose and lacking an overall strategy and a system for knowing we're going to go here and then we're going to go there and then we're going to go over here. They were, we were all just making it up as we were going along. And so that's why we were getting increasingly frustrated that we may have been scoring wins, but we didn't even know because we hadn't defined what a win was. I didn't define what a win was, and that was on me. And so what that caused me to do was to, instead of saying, all right, where's that magic app, right? Instead of thinking, what's the app that's going to fix the team? Forget that, right? Instead, I thought, Let's build a system, an overarching system that is going to cover all of our team processes from, from, all, the from all of the things that I was looking for the app for, you know, for, so for giving feedback, for delegating, for, for hiring new people, um, just for, for having meetings, for all of these things. And so I built that system. And I iterated it over time with the feedback of my team. Like, okay, is this working? What's working about it? Okay, we can make it better. I don't know, okay, right, this, this piece of it isn't working. All right, that needs to get tweaked a little bit. Maybe we need to switch things around. And that is what ultimately got us to win and thrive as a team, was me taking a hard look and building a custom tailored system, which is really a set of systems for all of the sort of people related and team related stuff that we had to do as a team. And that's ultimately how we won. And that's ultimately how I was able to get more recognized as a leader, got a promotion out of it. Several members of my team got promotions as well. And so that's how we did it. It wasn't an app. And ultimately, this, this system, these systems that I began building 10, 15 years ago turned into the people stack meta system. So over the years, I took what I used to build a thriving, high performing tech team and then changed it over time and iterated it over time so that it could be a powerful meta system, a powerful and adaptable meta system that any tech team leader could use to then apply to their team that can then be applied to any of the, the team systems that you might need, whether it's a hiring system or a system for giving feedback, a system for running meetings, a system for mentoring, for coaching, anything that you do as a leader. And we've also evolved it to then apply it to career building as well, um, to, to using it for you know, like when you're on the job market and having networking conversations and negotiation 
um, and also having promotion conversations with your boss. And so it's evolved over time to what we call the people stack meta system. It's a system of systems. Um, again, that's, that's powerful, that's adaptable, that you can use to, as a structure, as a framework, to upgrade your career and to build a thriving, high-performing team in the process. And so that's really what's needed, and that's what we share with our clients. We guide our clients through the process of applying the people stack meta system in their situation so that they could be the best leaders that they can possibly be build a thriving high-performing team and get those promotions, get those raises, land those awesome jobs in the process. And so that's really what we've found is missing. It's not an app. A lot of people search for the app. It's not that. It's not, it's not a quick fix. If you are struggling to upgrade your career and you've been struggling for a while, if you're frustrated with your team, because they're not performing up to par and it's been going on for a while, an app is not going to fix that. Really what you need is a complete overhaul. But what a lot of people try to do is they try to do that complete overhaul by themselves and it doesn't work because they don't have the expertise, they don't have the support in order to do it. So in my case, um, I was extremely motivated to do this, but also I have a background. Like I have a PhD in IO psychology. I'm a total geek and nerd about you know workplace systems and stuff. So it's like if anyone could build this, it's me, <laughs> right? And so and I also had the support to do that as well, an extremely supportive team um, in order to do that. And so I did this for you, so you don't have to go through this whole process. I created the system, and we and we show you how to how to apply it. You don't have to fail forward. I've done that already for you. <laughs> I've done that hard work. So look, if that's, if that's where you kind of are right now, if that story that I told you about my team resonated with you, like, all right, yeah, I know that there's high performers, people with high potential who are just not doing it. It just, or just like in general, you're feeling like, I know my team is capable of more and I can't unlock it. Or sometimes it's worse where you've had to, people are on the verge of quitting, right? So sometimes that's the way that it shows up. Like you have a really, really high performer who, who you know is having these conversations out in the hall and is on the job market and you don't wanna lose that person. Or sometimes it's the opposite and it's people getting fired. Maybe you're on the chopping block. Maybe some of your team members are on the chopping block. Like you're that team that's been written up for lack of performance. Maybe that's it, you know, and it shows up from, from a leadership standpoint, but sometimes it shows up from a career standpoint. Like I'm stuck in my career. I have not been able to get a promotion past manager. I've been stuck in manager land for five, 10, 15 years, and I can't break into being a director, being, being a VP level. Or I've been a tech lead. I've been like a leader slash individual contributor for a while and I want to actually be a leader, but I don't know how. Because I don't have the systems and the strategies and the support to do it. And you've looked for the apps and you know that ain't the answer. That apps are just band-aids. If that's what you know and you want help to upgrade your career and upgrade your team, then book a call with our team, thepeoplestack.com slash talk. So we're going to take a look at What's not working in your career and in your team right now? What's not working? Where are you right now? Let's, let's define now, point A. And then we're also going to define point B. Where do you want to go? What is having an awesome team look and feel like to you? And what is having an awesome career look and feel like? How do you know you're going to reach those goals? So we define point A, we've defined point B, and then we're gonna map out a plan. We're gonna show you how to apply the people stack meta system to get there. And you'll have that plan. And if you want our expert help to implement that plan, then that's awesome. But either way, you are gonna leave this conversation with clarity and with value and not with just a whole bunch of app recommendations, <laughs> right? We, you are going to have a strategy, a rock solid strategy 
so that you can finally upgrade your career and get your team to upgrade their careers as well, which is just one of the most awesome feelings. So when our clients share their wins, um, which is something that we encourage them to do often, early and often, you know, um, if you're an old school gamer, um, you're, you, you remember save early, save often. Uh, you know, our mantra at the People Stack is celebrate early, celebrate often, <laughs> right? And so, you know, share those wins. And so certainly um, people share wins and, and, and it's awesome when, when it's like the, the big stuff that that's about them and like their careers. Like I got a 35% raise, everybody like, oh my God, it finally happened. Or I land in this job. Oh, wow. I'm so, I'm, you know, I'm so excited about this and people are excited about it. But like when people share, like I was able to, you know, I was able to advocate for a team member and really show up for that team member to get that person a raise, like that just hits at a different level, like it, in such a wonderful, wonderful way. Because it's not, you know, you could take the ego out of it, right? Because sometimes celebrating can feel very egocentric, although it's not, because by celebrating, you're inspiring other people and you are you know, keeping those good vibrations up and, 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 and you are continuing to, to show that you give yourself the evidence that you are the leader that you meant you're meant to be. But when you take the ego out of it and say, yeah, I helped that team member get a 10, 20, 35% raise. That's just, that just feels so freaking awesome. Um, so that's what we help our clients do. So if that's what you want for your career, for your team, for your, the way that you show up as a leader, go to thepeoplestack.com slash talk. And we will, we'll talk about how to get you there. So you can claim your dream career and your dream team as well. So that's it for the day, folks. That will wrap up this week's shows, um, this week's episodes um, of Achieving Career Transformation as a Tech Manager. And I will see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.